Welcome back, friends. So in the last section, we saw how the return statement in JavaScript works. So in this video, we're going to look at the differences between function declarations and function expressions. What's the difference? Yeah, well, that's what we're going to talk about. So basically, there are two different syntaxes for declaring a function. And the first one is, well, what we've been using is called a function declaration. So we write function and then the name of our function. All right, pretty straightforward. And we pass in the arguments and rewrite our function body inside of the two brackets. All right, very good. So I'll just show you quickly function calculate age, and it takes an argument, and we'll call this birth year. So it returns to us 2020 minus the birth year. Okay, so I'm sure you remember that example as pretty much the, uh, our first method as a way to write a function. So that's the function declaration. So there is another way of writing a function, and that's called the expression or function expression. All right, let me show you an example. So we will write var, calculate age, and we set that up to be equal to a function, and then this function is going to return 2020 minus birth year again. And of course, it's going to take birth year as an argument. And actually, what we do here is define a variable and then give the function as a value. So these are a couple of different ways of defining equivalent functions. This is a declaration, and this, my friends, is an expression. So actually, let's write these out. So I'll write function declaration here and function expression here, okay? And... Now, there are some differences between these two methods, but first, let's use this function expression to see and make sure that it works normally. So first of all, I want to save the value that returned from the function into a variable called age. So I say var age and then set it to be equal to calculate age and call it. So I'll put my parentheses and inside of it, birth year, I'll say 1981. Okay, so now let's console log this variable here. All right, so I say console.log and age. Okay, so now when we go to the browser, we sure enough see our result. Okay, that's good. Now return to the code. Now, let me show you this uh, small difference here. If I declare function this way, var calculate age equals function. If I just decide to change calculate age, to be equal to the number 10 or the number 15, my function's lost. Now, yeah, what I mean by that is if you make function declaration after that, then we won't be able to give another value to that function. But if we make a function expression, we can change it to a number because, as I said, essentially with this function expression method, we define a variable. And then give it a value as a function. Of course, later on, we can change its value to be a number. So down here, if I say calculate age equals John, then console.log calculate age. And when we go to console here, we see John as calculate age. And what I mean by that is this is no more a function. It is a string now. All right, so back to our code editor. Now, if I refer to calculate age, I won't be able to evaluate it. I can't run it as a function anymore. And in fact, if I try it down here, I'll say var age, this time with a capital A, and then calculate age and call it, uh, I'll just put in 1990. Now go to my console, and here when I refresh, there's an error which says calculate age isn't a function, dude. Okay. Why is that? Because we changed it to be a string. So we are going to use declarations 
and expressions when they are fit to purpose. All right. So we're going to pause right here and have a little review or refresh if you need to. Otherwise, we'll continue in the next one.